It's Tia, wig coach and wig educator on YouTube. I was doing a review on this beautiful girl. This is Jules from Noriko. She's in the color Mulberry Brown. But it made me think about a tip that I wanted to share. So I pulled her out of the box. And as you can see, she's a lace front. As you can see, this hair sort of going forward. For me, that's annoying. Just a personal thing. It is annoying. Um, what I wanted to remind, and, and I want to try to say in my reviews a little bit more, you know, these are fibers. They sit in the box. They travel. They might have gotten warmer, cooler, what have you. And just like if you put your hat on your bio hair and you wear it out all day and you come back and you get hat head, the way that these wig sits in the box, um, you know, it can sort of mash the fibers down. Uh, it can make them sort of train them to go a certain way. So sometimes you do have to retrain the wig when you first get it. Sometimes you have to wake the style up. Get your fingers into the permatease. Move the part around a little bit. Just wake the fibers up. For this, because I per you know, I would like it to go back instead of sort of forward, I would spray this with water and use one of these sort of, you know, uh, creaseless lips. Wait till it dries and then it will sort of train it to go the way that I want. But in doing this review, I thought that I would remind you that Sometimes it's not just like a shake and go. You might have to play with it a little bit, wake the style up, gruff it up a little bit, mess up the part to get it to where you would like it to be. So that's my little tip for you. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I uh, will see you soon. Bye.